Hello, I'm Charlena Purcell. And I'm Lori. While we have a lot about each other that we really, really hate, such as, for me, I, I despise everything about this little floof of pink right here, there is one thing that we can agree on as a romance novelist and a, um, whatever she is, which is that the Hardy Boys Anyway. <laughs> so yes, the Hardy Boys is one thing that we have in common. A common interest, if you will. And so, we have, for the moment, put aside our differences to get together and enjoy the burgers that we found out that Frank grilled, but we never got to try, and that was offensive. Very very offensive. So today we're going to sample those and tell you how we think they would have been, which one was the most disgusting, which one is the best, and which of the Hardy Boys is cuter. We got a copy of the guest checks. So, we know the burgers Frank made. What one do you want to start with? The Volcano Burger. Volcano Burger. Sounds delicious. So this one says that it has Onions, jalapenos, hot mustard, bacon, and cheese. That's a burger I can stand behind. I think I'll just watch. Oh, you're too good to handle a burger now, are we? Yes. First, we'll start off with a bun. Because, it's obviously. It's a good place to start. Then we'll take... A patty Don't we want that I will pick up with first? my fork. The condiments last. Condiments go on top. Have you never eaten a burger, Lori? We're going to need some cheese on this burger. Do you think you can handle that? I don't think she can. Good job! This one also uses hot mustard, so I'm going to let you in. I'll a little family secret of how I do my hot mustard. We're going to take some mustard. <laughs> you might want to open your bottle of mustard first. I'm just going to edit that out. So we're going to take the mustard, put a little squirt of that in there. Then we're going to take some hot sauce and throw in a nice drizzle of that. Then we're going to stir it together and voila! mustard. So we're going to put that on our burger. We're going to put some onions. Jalapeno slices. Jalapeno. Frank did have whole jalapenos. I don't have those on hand so we're using sliced. Put lots. How about you not tell me what to do? Do you know what a volcano is? is Something I would like to throw you into. That's what a volcano is. It's not enough. And then we need some bacon. Bacon is life. And now we're ready to sample the first burger. Yay! This is the Volcano Burger. And I'm going to split this into four pieces since we have four burgers to sample. Is it volcano -y enough for you? Could have used a few more jalapenos. Charlena. I like the level of spice. And even though there's no mayo on this one, it's still pretty good. Like, it's not too dry. It could use some mayo, though, for those of you watching at home. But the bacon and cheese and everything is good. Also, for reference, we're using cheddar cheese and not American today. I give this a 8. I can work with an 8 with um, a 9 or 10 with the addition of mayo and maybe another condiment. Next, we will be trying the Hayashi Burger. This which is has... the one I'm scared of. Why are you scared of it? There's fruit on it. First, we'll start off with a bun with mayo. This uses some jelly. Grape, to be precise. So we're going to put just a thin layer of grape jelly on the bun. Lori's feeling a little squeamish over here. About like so. <laughs> then we want some more cheese. And then a pineapple ring. And a slice of tomato. And some avocado. Let's get ready to sample. No. It's 
It's not long together. It's a truly strange combination. It is strange. But is it terrible? It's not good. I'll give this like a two. What would you give it if Frank Cardi was standing in front of you offering it? Two. Oh, it's so gross. Two. Who in their right mind? I wouldn't go to a diner where they have more than just this one burger available in order. But if you're starving, there are far worse things you could eat. Well, since you hate that so much, let's see how you feel about a nice classic burger. Again, we're going to start with a bun and mayo. Now we're going to need, oh, this one doesn't do any, any cheese. We just want some ketchup, some pickles, and some tomato and lettuce. There's nothing to dislike about this one here. It's a very straightforward hamburger, but it is not, as we know Joe loves so dearly, a cheeseburger. After the other one, I'm pretty sure anything would taste good. Solid burger though. Simple and refreshing. A good seven or eight, which no higher just because there's not a lot going on with it, but it's a good burger. Yeah, I think I'd give it a seven because it's not quite as good as the volcano burger, but it's still a solid burger. We have one more burger to try. Now we will be trying the Colossal Burger, which is everything. All of the ingredients, except for those starting with P. So no pickles, no peanut butter, thank goodness. No pineapple, no pickled herring. So we know we'll be starting off with a bun and mayo, since there is no P in mayo. We'll be also adding some cheese on this. We need to put jelly on this, don't we? We're going to need some mustard. Mustard, yes. But we're also going to need some hot mustard. We're doing both hot and regular mustard, so let's put that on first. We'll need some ketchup. A light coating of jelly again. Maybe, maybe it won't be quite as bad because it doesn't have the pineapple on the end. I can hope, right? We'll need jalapenos. Then we're gonna put bacon, which almost makes it worth it, but still does have jelly. A little bit of onion. This is gonna be a tall burger when we're done. Well, it is called the Colossal Burger. A slice of tomato. Some lettuce. Well, I'll put the avocado first. Oh, avocado. Yes, that too. And then lettuce. And lettuce. lettuce. Is that That's everything? It. Yeah. It's a lot. And then we're gonna top it off. And this is a Colossal Burger. <laughs> we took a moment to plate it as it should be done. <laughs> and let's try this colossal, colossal burger. This is definitely not the best burger to be cutting up with a knife and eating in quarters. Honestly, right off I did get a hint of sweetness, but I'm not really tasting grape jelly. Honestly, I think this is probably about as good as the classic burger just because I don't care for a hint of sweetness but it's it's not making it bad it's good the double mustard with the bacon and cheese very good mm -hmm. very reminiscent of the volcano burger but it's basically if you took the classic burger and the volcano burger and you smashed them together and added jelly again I say seven to an eight but easily at least a nine if you just leave off the jelly, just because that little bit of sweetness just can throw things off. So it's a verdict. Seven. No, I mean of the whole experience. Uh, I think the volcano and the classic burger are very good. I have spicy good. mustard on my face, I can feel it. Probably do, I have it on my finger. Um, all in all, pretty good. Whoever thought pineapple and pizza was a good idea should be fired. This is burgers. Pineapple and burgers, sorry. Pineapple and burgers should be tired. Cause it's not a good idea. It's truly awful. It made me want to spew. You that's putting more <laughs> on your face. <laughs> on that note, I think it's time for us to go our separate ways before I wring this girl's neck. Excuse me. Hopefully, you will never have to see the two of us together in the same place ever again, for which I'm very grateful. But in the meantime, hopefully it warmed someone's heart out there to see the two of us setting aside our mutual hatred for a moment in honor of the Hardy Boys, Frank and Joe. Keep
Keep being you. What? What did you say? 